I'm Tap Honker Zale. Hi, I'm James Knott, and this is your Better Beer Authority. Today, we're talking about Honker Zale from the Goose Island Beer Company in Chicago, Illinois. Goose Island operates two brew pubs in Chicago and ships its beers to 15 states in the UK. Honker's Ale is an English style bitter with 4.2% ABV, or alcohol by volume, and 30 IBUs, or international bitterness units. Goose Island says that this ale was inspired by visits to English country pubs. They've added wheat to the grain bill for a little creaminess and roasted barley for toastiness on the back end. Before we discuss Honker's Ale, Let's do a quick beer 101, and this is really a 101. While there are tons of variations and exceptions, the majority of beer consumed today is based on four main ingredients. Water, barley, hops, and yeast. We'll discuss the roles of each of these ingredients in depth in future episodes. But first, let's talk about Honker's Ale. Scott, how does this beer figure into the Chicago scene? Well, James, uh, obviously coming from Chicago, I'd have to say it's probably middle of the road for Chicago beers in general, but Goose Island as well. It's just a pretty nondescript beer that has, you know, a large head when you pour it, at least six inches, and it has a lasting flavor, and it's just overall not really anything else to describe about it. I'm kind of at a loss for words, but... You said at least six inches? At least. Okay. Joby, your impressions of the beer? James, when the beer was first poured and I smelled it, it reminded me of a IPA. But when I drank it, it kind of went pretty smooth. Um, not too hoppy? Not too hoppy at all. It's, <coughs> you know, I was nervous at first because I thought it was going to be a very hoppy beer, but after I drank it and you know, let it sit for a while, I, I found it pretty, uh, pretty entertaining. So you find it to be a pretty well-balanced beer? Definitely well-balanced between the hops. and I, you know, There are uh, hops in there because you can smell them, but when you taste it, the malts definitely balance out the hops. Okay, Adam, how would you describe the flavors in this it's beer? Overall, very smooth flavor. It's, it has a sweet caramel first uh, impression, and then it has this uh, nice bitterness at the end of it that leaves just enough in your mouth to crave some more of it. Scott, how does this beer, you know, not just in the Chicago scene, but in the overall scene, how does this beer rate? It, again, it didn't really stand out to me, so it's kind of tough to actually Kind of place it in my opinion but i gave it a six because it has a really good flavor it, it doesn't leave you with a bad aftertaste it has kind of a nutty pine smell to it so i mean it's not overall displeasing by any means it doesn't have a, a skunky beer taste or smell so i'd say again just a six nothing extraordinary about it pre-shoot we were talking about how there wasn't really any dominant flavor to it i mean it was kind of well balanced i mean is that its main strength or is it's not bland, I would say. It just has a, an even taste, so it's something you could drink 10 or 12 of. All right, and Joby, where would you place this in your whole scheme of things? I'm going to rank this a 7 out of 10. I find this beer pretty interesting. It's, like I said, more than meets the eye when you first taste it. You know, it comes, you think it's going to be a, a pale ale, but it doesn't. It, it, it's in smooth, so it starts strong and in smooth for me. I can see myself, you know, at the grocery store, getting away from the normal Miller Lite, Bud Light, Coors Light that I normally drink, and trying to find something different. I wouldn't mind picking up some honkers. And Adam, um, I just wanted to comment about Scott. That I think the reason why I enjoy this beer is because of the fact that it it doesn't have it doesn't stand out. It has nice flavor. It's, uh, again, like I said, it was, it, it's intriguing. It has a, a different flavor characteristic, but, but at the same time, it's not overly powerful. Uh, so I think the overall rating for me is a little bit higher than that. I give it a seven. So right. for, for, well, just for, to cut in for a second, for me, the reason that it doesn't get a higher rating is because it, actually, it has nothing to stand out. I, to take it to that next level for me, I look for something a little bit extra that I enjoy. Obviously, some people, when you kind of take that... Uh, Next step, if it's a little bit more hoppy or a little bit more flavorful, some people enjoy it more and other people, so you kind of risk reducing your audience. But for me, this beer didn't take any risk, so that's why I gave it the six. I think, I, I disagree. I mean, Mia, as, as a chef, what we're looking for is a balance of flavors where you can still taste all the flavors. Did you, did you recognize the sweetness and then the hot and then the, the bitterness at the end of that? 
Oh, of uh, course. I, yeah, that, that it's a balance of the flavors to where you're getting that flavor, but it's not dragging all the way through. And, and over one is not overpowering the other. It's a nice mixture of a beer. All right, real quick. Is this beer for you a burger and fry beer? Let's go down the line. Burgers and fries? Yeah. Yes. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, that's perfect. All right. Well, in this special St. Paddy's Day edition of the Better Beer Authority, Honker's Ale receives 6.7 quacks on the BBA scale. Don't forget to leave your opinion of this fine ale in the comments section. I'd like to recommend a book to those of you who are trying to learn more about beer. Tasting Beer by Randy Mosher does a great job of describing the history of beer, how to taste it, what to eat with it, and what to appreciate in the different styles. It's a fairly easy read with great illustrations. It will take you from beer novice to beer snob in two hops of a barley's malt. You can find out more about this book at betterbeerauthority.com. I'm James Knott, and this is your Better Beer Authority. Better Beer Authority.